thank you for joining Rudy and me. As I've said on a couple of these, my camera remote is not working, so I have to do it manually. It's kind of a pain. I hope you're not distracted by it. Uh, we're going through the Ten Commandments pretty slowly. Uh, Ten Commandments are God's gift to a free people to keep them free. We need to keep that in mind. These are not burdens from God. They are gifts from God. Now, Rudy just informed me on yesterday's video, we do these all on the same day, that deli meat was made by Jewish people so they wouldn't have to cook on Sunday. That's right. Thank Saturday. God for the Sabbath and deli meat. <laughs> all right. Verse 12, honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. How do you honor your father and mother, Rudy? Well, uh, how do you honor them? You honor them by uh, accept, accepting them for who they are. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it takes a few years to be able to to see that, and you have to live through those situations. Uh, but as you discover those, and this is honoring your mother and right. father, you're able to have mercy on your children uh, and maybe even be able to retell the stories to them what made, you know, what made your parents different. Yeah. Uh, my mother was seemingly a tyrant, mm -hmm. but she was better than her mother. She did the best that she could do, and yeah. uh, so, in some respects, that's what humanity is supposed to do, is to be better than the last generation. Yeah. And with the help of the Lord, you will be, And uh, but that's what I consider honoring. Uh, I think from a rudim more rudimentary thought process, uh, you should do what your parents say regardless. Yeah. Uh, so there's some, there's some balance here. Yes. Uh, I know people who have been abused by parents and it's very hard for them to honor them. And you mentioned a moment ago making peace with some of that. Uh, I, I think of a time young in my ministry when I went to a conference in Dallas and the speaker talked about an umbrella of protection. He said, now if you, if you serve your parents, father's ahead, you're the servant, sort of. If you, don't, if you don't do what your father tells you, you've stepped outside of that umbrella. And that was the moment in the conference when I got out and walked out and didn't come back because my father wanted me to be an attorney rather than a preacher. But my heavenly father wanted me to be a preacher, and I had to disregard my father's wishes, and and I was rubbed. I probably wasn't the most mature response in that conference, but that was what I did anyway. Uh, so there's an honoring of accepting. There's an honoring of coming to appreciate. Uh, there's an honoring of of no longer saying bad things about a family member. Uh, there's that kind of response that we can make. I think. Uh, expand on that a bit and then why don't we take two today we'll take thou shalt not murder well <clears throat> my mother was a pretty strict disciplinarian and physical and, and yeah. as well and uh, being beaten uh, with belts and stuff uh, and even marks being left so the clothing could not hide them yeah uh, it's hard for a kid to not just rebel against that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but one time I I hit Max through a diaper and left my finger fingerprints on his butt. Yeah. I saw that and I've never touched him again because I have some of what my mother had in her. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't have to slip through the generations. Right. So there, there are people who potentially listen to this who've had a horrible childhood. I had a good one. My parents, they, they were not perfect, and I wasn't a perfect parent myself uh, by any means. Boy, me either. Yeah. But uh, if you've had a horrible childhood, you might start 
honoring your parents this way. God, show me how. Lord, I open my mind to what you would say. I'm open to that. And then he'll show you. If you're willing to let him be God, and he will gently take you there. And you may find out there's a, there's a piece of healing. Uh, years ago, I, I did a, a video like this. I held a piece of paper against a wall. You know, as long as I hold that paper there, I can't move. Uh, I can't get up and get a drink of water. I can't walk out the door. I'm here. I'm stuck. And if you're holding a resentment against your family member, you're stuck. But if you'll begin to get loose, then not only will you not hold it there, but you yourself will be free. And that's uh, that, that's a beginning point. You know, start with God. Help me. Help me to go here. All right. Yeah, that that's pretty much where God gave me the idea that she would that she actually was doing the best that she could do. Yeah. And what more can you ask of anyone? Right. And that, Amen. Why don't you pray for us, Rudy? Father, some of these laws are confusing. They're confusing when we're trying to figure them out on our own. Mm -hmm. Father, help us yeah. break into our thought process, Father, and show us the way. Yeah. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Rudy, thank you. Thank you all for joining us today. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow.